Power to the truth. Raising humane consciousness. I am a humane being. Humane being. Being. There can be a big difference between a human being, A to M A N, which can be a two legged carnivorous animal, and a humane being, H U M A N E, who is someone who has care, concern, and compassion. In a way, to progress from being a human animal to being a humane being is a big step forward in our humanity. We are one species on one planet. I call Mother Earth. We are an endangered species. Many of us suffer from different character defects, among which greed is the primary character defect. There's other ones, sloth, arrogance, false pride, jealousy, envy, hatred. So, we need to be aware of consciousness and the different kinds of consciousness that there are. To be conscious is to be awake, you know, to be aware. As a rule, we have five sense organs. See, hear, smell, taste, touch. We could, some of us may have a sixth sense, an extrasensory perception, ESP. We can use our own intuition, which can come from spirit, or keeping your mind open. Each day when I begin my day, I usually think about raising consciousness. You know, I do that with my communication with people. You know, when I interact with people in, in, in real immediate spatial life here and I do it online. I often post uh, news links in the belief that when people know more and more what's going on, <coughs> they'll have a deeper, wider understanding of connected reality. We are all in connected reality. So we want to continue to to raise consciousness, to raise a humane consciousness that will help to stimulate consciousness and help to stimulate action so we can take positive, productive, progressive action to help change the world. You know, it is not enough to know the world. You know, the, the important matter here is to change the world. We can change the world when we change ourselves. And at the same time, 
we change the world when we interact with it. We integrate ourselves into connected reality and we change it for the better, not for the worse. So we need to understand that there are different kinds of consciousness. You know, there's a um, it's the consciousness of, of being aware of, of being here now. You know, and there's what people call a revolutionary consciousness. Yet that word revolutionary is real, it's a loaded word. Many people abuse the word. In fact, they abuse the power of the word. In fact, they abuse each other. I'm looking at more of a liberated, humane consciousness. Because what is revolutionary or not could change from epoch to epoch. You know, from, from one era to another era. Like when capitalism was revolutionary when it over overran or when it developed into capitalism from feudalism, like when in certain sectors socialism became revolutionary when it advanced beyond capitalism, yet the whole socialist craze has gotten corrupted, distorted, warped. What happened to the USSR? You know, the so-called People's Republic of China is now a new uh, Chinese dynasty. You know, so we need to really re-examine. You know, what happened in certain countries, and be open to changing our ideology, our Ideology is a system of thinking. I used to be a hardcore uh, red book carrying uh, supporter of, of the Chinese Communist Party, and I went through changes in my life, my ideology. Now I see what I supported before. I see now is has gotten stale and corrupted. You know, same as the Soviet Union, which no longer exists. You know, I used to be into Marxist Leninism and all that. So I understood that, you know, this involved dialectical materialism, but even that has a limitation. Everything is not matter. You know, there is a spiritual quality in life that's inherent in life. So we need to be open to having a creative consciousness that reflects connected reality And that tries to understand it, you know, ever more deeper and deeper, yet ever more higher and higher. You know, it's like a spiral. Knowledge is like a spiral, upward, spinning spiral. So, when we look at each other as all of the same family, when we can widen our circle of compassion beyond, say, our immediate blood family, and we can widen that circle of compassion to include you know, people in our community, people in other countries, and people throughout the universe. 
then we start arriving more and more at a higher level of consciousness. You know, when uh, we see that the whole situation on Earth now is full of so much chaos and confusion that Sometimes I feel like giving up. I feel like saying, fuck it. Let's go get drunk. Let's go screw around. And then I catch myself and I realize, you know what, I've, I've been there, done that. So, each day I try to work on raising consciousness. And I realize that in the process of trying to raise consciousness, I'm also raising my own consciousness. You know, I I study, I learn, and I go back and, and question my assumptions. You know, I learn from other people. You know, with a sense of humility, knowing that I am ignorant of all that I do not know. It's easy to cut down other people. But how do you build people up? It's easy to get people dumbed down in despair where they feel they have no power to do anything in, in the world. But how do you create that self esteem, that confidence? where we know we can change the world. See, so it's a process. Life is a process. Don't get hung up on, on certain words like revolution. You know, that word is, is, is used so much it's lost its, a lot of its meaning. A revolution is the transformation of property relations between the haves and the have-nots. You know, and the haves is a minus one percent of the general population. Minus one percent. The have-nots are the plus one percent. I'm just giving the plus ninety-nine percent. See, so even that that mathematical equation, you know, can can sneak into our consciousness and, and, and get us flip-flop. You know, Occupy Wall Street hit it home to a point, yet uh, remember the, the haves are minus 1%. They're not even 1%. Minus 1%. And the have-nots are plus 99%. And we have the overwhelming majority of the Earth's population that, that, that we're concerned about. And the whole thing is now is that we don't have the power to determine our own destiny as we need. You know, right now, the powers of the world are in control, are being controlled by a small, tiny elite, and, and they control the rest of us through consciousness, through consciousness, you know, where we've been programmed to have a counter-revolutionary consciousness. We've been programmed to believe that this is the way things are, this is the way things will always be. We've, we've been programmed to, to defeat. We've been programmed to be losers, to so being winners in the world. We've been programmed to accept 
injustice without question, to accept our oppression without question. So, in order to over, overcome the reactionary programming, remember those words, reactionary, revolutionary, are real relative. You know, uh, I prefer the term uh, having a liberated mentality over a revolutionary mentality because what's revolutionary can change from one era to another. You know, revolutionary can become reactionary. Flip flop. You know, so I want to work on uh, developing my own liberated consciousness as I seek to help raise consciousness among others in my life, whether I'm online, whether I'm offline, you know, whether I'm in line, and to understand that consciousness is the battleground. So, hope I get around to doing a few more on this uh, concept of humane consciousness. Thank you for your time and attention. And continue to work on your own humane consciousness. Namaste.